back to another episode of Treasure Hunting Sonic. In this episode, we're going to be talking about Sonic shoes. I'm going to show you guys five pairs of Sonic shoes that I own and tell you about where they came from, how I got them, etc. This list isn't going to, this video isn't going to include anything like slippers, rain boots, anything like that, which yes, there are rain boots. Uh, I'll talk a little bit about the stuff I don't have at the end. But starting off, we have a pair of kid shoes from the UK. This is from the early 90s. Got these on eBay. These are actually pretty cool. I really like the design, especially around the bottom. You got Sonic spinning and running and spinning again. The shoelaces actually say Sonic, which I thought was pretty cool. Got Sonic, the Sonic logo on the tongue and on the sole. Sonic with some rings around them on the side. I don't have the box of these. Uh, they are pretty worn. I'm only showing you guys one shoe out of the pair just because they're kind of difficult to get out of the display case so I don't want to bring out more than I have to and they're both identical. Won these off eBay about two or three years ago for super cheap. I think they were only like 10 bucks. Shipping was more than the actual shoe costed. Moving on, here's another pair from the early 90s. These were from the USA. Got that early 90s 2D style Sonic there. It says Super Sonic, you got the Sega logo on the back and then look at that kind of tie-dye, trippy looking color there. On the sole in there it says Sonic, but it's pretty faded. Again, these are previously used. I wanna say I paid 20 bucks for this pair, but that included shipping. Um, man, that design is just so 90s though. Got a rainbow right there for whatever reason. Nothing really special about the shoelaces or anything. Still pretty cool though, no box. Here we have a pair of Sonic X shoes. You guys might have seen the post that I made about them on uh, Instagram and Facebook. I got these at Walmart for 20 bucks back in 2003 or 2004. You guys remember that? Catch it on the Fox box. Size 13, brand new. I never opened them when I was way too old and big to wear them at the time. So take a look at the shoes. See, they're even still connected. So you got Knuckles on one side and Sonic on the other. They're Velcro, no laces. Got the Sonic X logo on the sole and on the vel the top of uh, Velcro. Okay, I'm sorry, they were $15. Still in perfect condition, box is still in perfect condition. I think these were worth it. I was, if, if I would have had these as a kid though, I totally would have rocked them. There was another pair that I believe had, uh, uh, I want to say it was just Sonic on it, or maybe it was Sonic and Tails, but I never found that one in person. I'm pretty sure Payless also carried them. Moving on, here's a really cool pair. These are the actual Sonic shoes from Anipon. I actually got these in Japan at the Anapon shop, which I've talked about several times to several people that have asked me where to find Sonic stuff over there. Uh, if you're ever in Akihabara, I definitely recommend it. Uh, it's a great, great place. Um, they had not only these shoes, but a bunch of stickers and pins. They had um, clothes. They had a little leather uh, coin purse. <clears throat> That's where I bought my Dreamcast scale that I recently posted about, Dreamcast uh, bathroom scale. They had Sega Water, which I bought. You know, they had a, Gen a Mega Drive, a Dreamcast, and a Saturn Water. Box looks like Green Hill Zone. These costed uh, seven, about seventy dollars U.S. There they are. These are Asian size thirty. 
which I think is roughly size 12-ish in US sizes, because I'm a 12 and they fit perfect. But I can actually wear anywhere from a 10 and a half to a 12, so. Got the gold buckle there. I only tried them on one time. I'm never gonna wear them, actually. They're very comfortable. Designed by Endor and Akihabara. You can find them on Instagram, Twitter, all kinds of places. But definitely check them out. And this is the last pair I'm gonna actually show you and not just talk about. It's the Dr. Eggman shoes from Puma. I really like this box here. It's got Green Hill style. It's got uh, 2D Sonic and Eggman. Got an extra life box there, a Buzz Bomber. These are size 13, I had to buy them second hand. I'm sure you guys all have heard about that whole Puma fiasco. They sold out in about 10 seconds. I was so angry. Uh, the shoe style is RS0 running system. They got Eggman there with some fireballs that kind of look like they should be in Mario for whatever reason. Sonic logo there on the tongue. Got some gold rings around the laces, some gold accents here. Inside there you got a little pixelated Eggman, which I think is pretty cool. Really wish that would have been on the outside of the shoe. But whatever. So there were a total of four pairs of uh, Sonic shoes made from Puma. There was Sonic and Eggman, um, and then there was a Sonic and Eggman exclusive to UK Foot Lockers, and they were a little bit less, um, they had a little bit less ambiance to them, but I actually think they look really good. I would even go as far as to say they look better than these. They're, you know, a lot more subtle, but I think they look really good. Got the Sonic logo there on the bottom of the shoe. I really wish Sega would do a partnering with the uh, Vans and bring out Sonic Vans. You know, Vans keeps doing things like Star Wars, Harry Potter, Nintendo, Peanuts. There ain't no reason they can't do Sega. So that's about it. That's the only ones I have. Um, I didn't include any slippers on the list because that's going to be its own video. And uh, there are some other, you know, especially 90s shoes like uh, Sonic and Knuckles shoes. Um, you know, various ones from all over the world. So can't, you know, can't do a video on them if I don't have them. But stay tuned for the slippers video. Look forward to the slippers video, I guess I should say. And that'll be coming soon. Thank you all for watching. See you next time.